हाय वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला स्पैनिश आई एम राजीव सक्सेना एंड आई टीच स्पैनिश इन द सेंटर ऑफ स्पैनिश पोर्चुगीज इटालियन एंड लैटिन अमेरिकन स्टडीज इन द जवाहरलाल नेहरू यूनिवर्सिटी न्यू दिल्ली वी आर इन द पेपर एंटाइटल्ड इंटरमीडिएट ग्रामर इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंपेरेटिव मूड ऑफ द वर्ब्स विथ सेम सो the objective of this module is that in the previous modules we have studied how imperative mood is a unique feature of spanish grammar in this module you will study the use of the imperative mood of the spanish verbs with say which has a very different composition than the english imperatives so please be very careful that we will not talk about imperatives in general but the variations in the uses of the imperatives with specific verbs so in this module we are only going to be talking about the imperative mood of the spanish verbs with say which is very different from the english imperatives let us start with some examples of the regular verbs which are reflexive and have say as a suffix after their root forms so we are going to start off with some examples of the regular verbs which are reflexive and also have a say as a suffix after their root forms for the ar ending we have verbs like lavarse or to wash oneself to lavate affirmative to no te laves negative usted lavese affirmative usted no se lave negative i repeat for the ar ending lavarse which is also a reflexive verb how do we do it in the command in the mandato the conjugation is in the following manner tu lavate affirmative tu no te laves negative command usted lavese affirmative command usted no se lave negative command vosotros lavaos affirmative command vosotros no os lavais negative command ustedes lavense affirmative command ustedes no se laven negative command i repeat vosotros lavaos affirmative vosotros no os lavais negative command ustedes lavense affirmative ustedes no se laven negative command for the ar ending verb the er ending we we can see that it is a bit different than the ar that we have just done so let us pick up another verb ending of the er ending verb and let's pick up atreverse for example so atreverse is to dare or to have the courage of doing something so the atreverse in the mandato or in the command form is atrevete affirmative no te atrevas negative command atrevase usted affirmative no se atreva negative command so i repeat atrevete to affirmative no te atreves to negative atrevese usted affirmative no se atreva negative usted atreveos affirmative for vosotros no os atreveis negative for vosotros atrevanse affirmative for ustedes and no se atrevan negative for ustedes i repeat atreveos for affirmative no os atrevais for negative atrevan se for affirmative and no se atrevan for negative for the er ending we can see another verb which is for example subir se which is to climb so how do we do the commands in this subete tu affirmative no te subas negative command subase affirmative and in the same manner i repeat subete to affirmative no te subas negative subase affirmative 
and no se suba usted negative. Let us continue with vosotros. Subaos, affirmative. No os subais, vosotros, negative. Subanse is affirmative for ustedes and no se suban ustedes, negative. I repeat, no se suba, negative. Subaos, affirmative. No os subais, negative. Subanse, affirmative. No se suban, negative. The best would be to take out a printout from the e-text and have these word, verb lists along with you when you are here listening to this video. Once you have the text in front of you and my explanations, it will become very easy for you to see the patterns and to know how to do the conjugations of this very important mood which is the imperative mood in Spanish, the mandatos in Spanish. Now let us have a look at some more examples. Son las nueve. Levantate. It's nine o'clock. Get up. Son las nueve. Levantate. No te atreves ir a solo. Don't you dare to go alone. No te atreves a ir solo. Another example would be No se suban a la estatua, por favor. Please do not climb up the statue. No se suban a la estatua, por favor. Please do not climb up the statue. Now let us look at some irregular verbs with say. We have seen the regular verbs. So now let's talk about irregular verbs and how do they change with the say, the reflexive. So let us talk about vestir say. Here the e changes into I. Of vestir say, the E changes into I. And the following is the conjugation. Vistete, affirmative. No te vistas, negative. Vistase, affirmative. And no se vista, negative. Another set of conjugations would be vestios, affirmative for vosotros. No os vistais, negative. For vosotros. Vistanse, affirmative for ustedes, and no se vistan, negative for ustedes. I repeat, vestios, affirmative for vosotros, no os vestiais, negative for vosotros. Vistanse, affirmative for vosotros, and no se vistan, negative for vosotros. Just like vestirse, Reirse can also be conjugated in the same way. Another different example would be of the verb despertarse. So, we have seen like vestirse, reirse can also be conjugated in the same way. But let us go on to another example which is completely different which would be despertarse where the E changes into IE. So, the conjugation of despertarse in the mandato or the imperative is in the following manner. Despiertate, affirmative. No te despiertes, negative. Despiertese, affirmative. No se despierte, negative. I repeat, despiertate, affirmative. No te despiertes, negative. Despiertese, affirmative. And no se despierte, negative. Another set of the same in the plural would be despertaos, vosotros, affirmative. No os despertéis, negative, vosotros. Despiértense, affirmative, ustedes. And no se despierten, negative, ustedes. I repeat, despertaos, affirmative, for vosotros. No os despertéis, negative, for vosotros. Despiértense, Affirmative for ustedes and no se despierten negative for ustedes. Other verbs which could be conjugated in the same way as divertirse, sentarse, etc. However, we have seen divertirse and sentarse is also conjugated in the same sense. We would now like to move on to another example which would be of acostarse for example where the u of acostarse
changes into ue so the conjugation of akostarse in the imperative is aquestate affirmative to note aquestes negative command to aquestese affirmative to and no se aqueste negative to i repeat aquestete affirmative no te aquestes negative aquestese ustedes affirmative no se aqueste and ustedes negative acostaos is affirmative and no os acostais is negative so acostaos for vosotros positive and no os acostais for vosotros negative what happens in the ustedes in the ustedes it becomes acuestense affirmative and ustedes no se acuesten in the negative for ustedes just like acostarse we can also conjugate dormirse so once you learn the pattern of acostarse you already know the pattern of dormirse also it's as simple as that so some of the other irregular verbs which we have to look into and see the pattern would be the following like example ponerse ponte for affirmative to no te pongas negative to pongase affirmative usted and no se ponga negative usted i repeat ponte affirmative to no te pongas negative to pónganse affirmative usted no se ponga negative usted now what happens when you're talking about this in the plural in the plural it becomes poneos affirmative for vosotros no os pongáis negative vosotros pónganse ustedes affirmative no se pongan ustedes negative i repeat poneos is affirmative vosotros no os pongáis negative vosotros pónganse affirmative ustedes and no se pongan affirmative negative for ustedes another important verb which we use quite often and in commands also is a verb like irse vete for example is affirmative to no te vayas is negative to vayase is affirmative for usted and no se vaya is negative for usted i repeat for irse the conjugation in the mandatos or in the imperative is vete for affirmative to no te vayas negative to vayase for affirmative usted and no se vaya for negative usted idos is affirmative of ir in the plural which is vosotros and no os vayais is negative vosotros vayanse is affirmative for ustedes and no se vayan is negative of ustedes i repeat idos is affirmative of vosotros and no os vayais is negative of vosotros vayanse is affirmative of ustedes and no se vayan is negative of ustedes how do we do the conjugation of the verb caerse in in, in preterit sorry how do we do the conjugation of caerse in the mandato which is to give an order we do the conjugation in the following manner caete is affirmative no te caigas is negative caigase is affirmative no se caiga is negative i repeat caete is affirmative in to no te caigas is negative to caigase is affirmative usted no se caiga is negative of usted let us move on to the plurals how do we do the conjugation of caer in the plural caeos is affirmative for vosotros no os caigais is negative 
of vosotros. Kaigan se is affirmative of ustedes and no se kaigan is negative of ustedes. I repeat, kaeos is affirmative of vosotros, no os kaigais is negative of vosotros. Kaigan se is affirmative of ustedes and no se kaigan is negative of ustedes. We should keep in mind that the actions in the imperative mood are always in the present. Adverbial expressions of time may be used to stress the urgency of the message or direct the listener to follow the command at a certain time. So remember that the actions in imperative mood are always in the present. Adverbial expressions of times can be incorporated to stress the urgency of the message or to direct the listener to follow the command at a certain time. So, for example, we have Abre la puerta. Open the door. Haz el trabajo ahora. Do the work now. Haz el trabajo ahora. Or Abre la puerta. If the action is to be expected to be carried out later, there might be an indication of time with appropriate verbs or adverbial phrases. So, if you expect that the action is going to be carried out later, then there might be an indication of time with appropriate adverbs or adverbial phrases. Paga la cuenta la semana que viene. So, pay the bill the next week. So, by saying la semana que viene, you know that this is to be an action to be carried out later. Paga la cuenta la semana que viene. Or, another example which is good is trae el dinero mañana. Bring the money tomorrow. Trae el dinero mañana. How do we do the informal to affirmative command forms? It is very easy to learn commands if you learn how to conjugate the verbs properly. For the familiar affirmative commands, use the third person singular form of the present indicative. I repeat, for the familiar affirmative commands, use the third person singular form of the present indicative. So, if we drop the infinitive endings AR, ER and IR, from the radical and add the corresponding endings for L and Elia, it gives the conjugation for the imperative to. So, the trick that we are trying to teach you here is that for the familiar affirmative commands, use the third person singular form of the present indicative and drop the infinitive endings AR, ER and IR for the radical and add the corresponding ending for L and Elia. It gives the conjugation for the imperative to. For example, comprar to buy becomes compra. Aprender to aprender or to learn becomes aprende. Escribir to write becomes escribe. So it's very simple. How do we do it? Let us continue with more examples. Gritar to yell becomes grita. Beber to drink becomes bebe. Abrir to open becomes abre. I repeat, gritar to yell becomes grita. Beber to drink becomes bebe. Abrir to open becomes abre. So, once we see the pattern, it becomes very simple for us how to conjugate it. Again, let us move on to other examples so that you can learn how to conjugate the imperative mood in Spanish. Formar is to form. The conjugation is forma. Meter to put in is meter. So, we conjugate it as mete. Pedir to ask for becomes pide. I repeat, formar becomes forma. Meter becomes mete and pedir becomes pide. In the same sense, we can now 
put these sen into sentences and use these verbs in the imperative. So we'll say, compra los regalos, buy the gifts, aprende las reglas, learn the rules, escribe la respuesta ahora, write the answer now. I repeat, compra los regalos, aprende las reglas, and escribe la respuesta ahora. Compra las, los coches, buy the car, aprende las cosas, learn the things, and escribe la carta ahora, write the letter now. So we can see that it is very easy to do the conjugations in imperative. All you have to do is to pause, use the third person singular. Compra los coches, aprende las cosas, escribe la carta ahora. In the two affirmative commands of ER and IR verbs, we have the same verb endings. So what do we do? We have to keep in mind the context. And we also have to keep in mind that exclamation marks may be used to indicate the speaker's urgency. So when you're writing in Spanish, you can use exclamation marks to indicate the urgency of the speaker in this scenario. The context and punctuation will help you distinguish the third person singular present indicative form. For example, a comma tells you that the speaker is addressing a person with imperative. For example, Iqbal, comma, trae la maleta. Iqbal, comma, bring the suitcase. Or vis-a-vis, -vis, Iqbal trae la maleta. Iqbal brings the suitcase. So, by putting the comma, we know that this is an imperative for Iqbal. Impar Iqbal trae la maleta. O Iqbal trae la maleta. So, one is just a statement and the other one where the comma is put, then you know that it is a completely direct mandato, an imperative mood. The speaker's tone in the communication will also be helpful in distinguishing the, between the command and the other forms. So, for example, we have two sentences which is abra la puerta, open the door, or abre la puerta where he or she opens the door. So, by knowing the speaker's tone, we can distinguish between the command and the other forms. Abre la puerta or Abre la puerta. In the same sense, we can also have come la carne, eat the meat. Come la carne, he or she eats the meat. I repeat, come la carne, eat the meat as an imperative or come, comma, la carne, he or she eats the meat. The irregular forms of the familiar to command, we will look at them right now. Some verbs have irregular conjugations for informal to form. Let us look at the examples of them. You can have a detailed look from them in the verb charts given at the end of the whole chapter. So, for right now, just have a look at the irregular conjugations of some informal two forms. For example, decir becomes the, hacer becomes as, ir becomes ve, for tu, the, as and ve, decir, hacer and ir. Poner becomes pon, salir becomes sal, tener becomes ten, and venir becomes ven. Poner, pon, salir, sal, ser, se, tener, ten, and venir, ven. Let us move on to formal commands. While giving commands in an informal way is more prevalent in most areas of the Spanish-speaking world, it is still appropriate to use the formal commands when giving a direct command to a person or persons. 
for example people whom you are unsure to address people whom you are meeting for the first time or you consider unfamiliar to whom you owe respect because of title rank or age or whom you encounter in business commercial or professional settings many forms of imperatives are similar to some forms of subjunctive in spanish you have not studied subjunctive yet but you will use these the knowledge of the imperatives when you deal with the subjunctive to conjugate the verbs just follow the third person conjugation drop the last vowel and add the vowel as given below which we're going to be talking about right now so for cantar canta it's an ar ending verb so we add e it becomes cante for comer it is come it's an er ending verb so we just add an a coma vivir vive it's an er ending verb so we add a v viva i repeat cantar becomes cante instead of canta because we change the ending to e comer becomes coma because we change the a to a and vivir vive becomes viva as we change the a to a viva so the song viva españa is from long live spain and it is an imperative it's a command or it's a desire that long live spain let us move on to other verbs of this category hablar habla becomes hable because you are changing the the last vowel beber bebe becomes beba as we change the e to a beba pedir pide becomes pedi pida as we are changing the e to a i repeat habla becomes hable bebe becomes beba and pide becomes pida in the mandatos so to conclude we would like to say that we have tried to cover everything about imperatives and their uses with say but these will be dealt with in a more detailed manner in the advanced grammar paper we need to do more exercises and how to use it once learned imperatives are fun to use so go ahead learn it and practice it and become perfect muchas gracias